Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a manual blood pressure. So I use this. It's my Sphag Mominometer. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> so it just comes in this little case here. And then I've got my Lipman Classic 3 stethoscope. Um, this one comes in a few different different kinds. They've got the lightweight, the classic. They've got a cardiology one, which is good if you're a cardiac nurse. And then electronic. I'm not quite sure what that one is, but I like the classic one. So I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to get it set up here. Okay, so this is the sphygmomanometer. Um, you use this to blow up the cuff and it helps you uh, read the blood pressure. So I'm just gonna set this up. You just wrap it up like that. And then you just have the person relax their arm. And then I'll take my stethoscope and then you just want to listen for the brachial pulse. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and that's usually on the inner part of the arm. Sometimes it's hard to hear. Okay, so you just lay it on there. Perfect, and then you want to make sure you turn this dial all the way to the right because this is going to be how you blow up the blood pressure cuff. And then this is uh, what you'll use to monitor the air being pumped in. Um, so what you want to do is you want to pump it up to 200 millimeters of mercury right here. And then when I pump it up, you'll just release it slowly. And then when you start to hear a thump, that'll be what you call the systolic blood pressure. And that's when your heart contracts and then you'll bring it down, you'll release the air a little bit more. And the lower number is your heart relaxing and that is where your heart starts to refill. So gonna try it here so I'll pump it up to about 200 it's gonna be kind of tight I think I got the numbers here, but I'm gonna try one more time. Am I okay to try again? So again, 
it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of hard to film this. Um, but you'll want to look at this and then you'll notice when you start putting it down, it'll start kind of um, ticking a little bit. And that's kind of where you'll see um, the diet or the systolic going and then it'll slowly go down. And then when you stop hearing the thump is where you're gonna see the diastolic. Um, so yeah, hope that was helpful you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. It's kind of hard to film everything, but yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys.